What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. What's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. As you know, guys, I collect guns. I collect real firearms. I collect pellet guns. I collect BB guns. I collect shotguns. You know, aerosol spring-loaded guns. And I collect them all from shotguns and rifles to everything. Okay. Alright guys, this here is on a G3. It's something like the PPK, Walton PPK gun here. This is not it. This is a three a G3 spring loaded. Uh regular, this is a BB gun. Uh, I think this is just an aerosol spring loaded BB gun. It's appetized about I think it's about 200 feet per second or something like that. Yeah. Cock it back like this. Pull it. Cock it back, spring. So it's appetizer about 200 feet per second. It's got the dropout clip. I think it shoot like, like 10, I think it's like 10 or 12 shots. Uh, I mainly like it for the looks, though, me, personally. Because it reminds me a lot of the PPK that I used to have. Uh, I had to send it back into the factory because... Factory gave me my money back for it because something was going wrong with the CO2 thing where you screw up. Actually, the thing had broke off and it, it couldn't really screw the CO2 up so it can put a hole through the things. Had to put a pair of pliers on it and that played out. So they told me to send it back into the factory. Had a bad screw up where you screw the CO2 thing up. Couldn't turn it no more. So I had about about a couple weeks, and that happened. The thing had broke off of it. I bought it from Walmart at the time. I paid about 80 bucks for it. Uh, the Walter PPK is at Walmart. Now, I don't know the price of it. I think I looked at one the other day. Um, I wouldn't mind buying it again, but kind of still, I hope they fix that problem down there. That you screw the CO2 up down here. That thing had, had, had broke off. I couldn't screw up the CO2. Now, I don't know if it's doing it now. Because um, I ain't really bought it back no more. So I got my eye on other guns at Walmart that I'm interested in. Uh, int I'm interested also in a Mac. I think it's Magarov, something like a 380 pistol. It's a Russian Magarov gun. Uh, this reminds me of that too. Uh, I think that one has a blowback CO2 action, which I've been looking into that. This one here is a blow. It's not a blowback, but spring loaded, as you can see. Push that back like that. It's ready to fire. It reminds me of a 380 pistol. If you guys are familiar with a 380, uh, that's why this gun looks just like a 380 pistol. Even the hole in the front, it's got the sights, big sights. It's got the hole of a 380 pistol, as you can see in front. That's what it's copying. You can tell, I mean, you can look at that hole and you can see this gun is copping behind a 380 pistol. Even from a distance. You know? All the way back here. It's copping from a 380 pistol. Alright. So like I said, got a little button on the side. So you drop the clip out. It's clipping like 10 shots. And this gun is all metal. It's all metal except for the grips. All the hammer. Uh, the hammer is fixed, but it's all metal. Everything on the slide. This. All metal. All the frame right here is all metal. The trigger is all metal. And like I said, everything on it is metal except for the plumber like plastic grips right here. But other than that, everything else on this gun is metal. Now, even that being said, this gun's appetized around 200 feet per second. Even then, if you're cheering, playing with it or something, uh, you still got to take cautious with them at 200 feet per second. Even at close range, this gun can still be lethal. It can actually put somebody out. It can hurt them pretty bad, you know. Um, I want to say it's as dangerous as a CO2 pistol because they can kill you. But this one here still could be Somebody can really get injured with it, you know, if it's careless or if 
It's got a bullet, a uh, BB or something in here. Because this one here actually don't have a safety. Once you cock it back and carelessly, somebody standing around, you just accidentally pull the trigger like that. And it hits somebody in the eye, it can really hurt them, you know. Um, that's why I would like this gun mainly for the looks. Now, over here, what it shows is supposed to have a safety. It's basically a fixed safety. It don't have a safety. So, that's another bad, that's a bad thing. I think every, every firearm should have a safety. Every BB gun, you know, spring-loaded gun should have a safety. Because once a child or something, if they even playing with them, you know, it can go over here and hit another child in the eye or something and hurt them pretty bad. Now, another thing you got to be careful about, guys, the way you distinguish these things in the public, you know, um, by looking at this gun, it looks like a real firearm. Just take a good look at it. Even for the front of it, I mean, you couldn't distinguish this thing from a real 380 pistol. Uh, I mean, somebody just come up, freeze, or whatever. You just know it got a gun. You know, you ain't really looking at Examine it, it whether you know you just see a gun, somebody holding a gun up, you know. So you gotta be careful how you distinguish these things out in the public like this. All I know, hey, he got a gun. Call nine one one. It might be a child that's playing or whatever. So like I said, all they know you got a gun. They don't know that's all they know. You got a gun in your hand. See. So uh, gotta be careful. Uh, I just like I said, I just collect mines. Uh, we're going to target practice shooting them on another video. Uh, I really don't do a lot of shooting. I shoot them every now and then, you know. <laughs> Not a lot. So I just have, a, I just mostly collect them. And I like to get them in my arsenal, you know, so I can have them. And uh, they're just fun to play around with sometimes. Just collecting them up. Even though I collect even cap guns. From back back in the days, man, you know when I was a little kid, uh, uh, I collect real firearms, shotguns, pistols, rifles, BB guns, pellet guns, cap guns. So, so I collect everything, knives. I collect knives too. I got some lethal looking knives too, guys. One with brass knuckles, and so I got some swords. So I got a lot of different stuff that I collect. I had a nice sword. I don't know what happened to it, though. I had some nice swords. Somewhere around. I don't really know what happened to it. I had a nice one. I had a little tassel on it. A real nice sword, man. Um, can't figure out what happened to it. I wish somebody took it back in the day or something. That was a nice sword. So I collect knives, BB guns. Pellet guns, brake barrels, you name it. <laughs> you name it, I collect it. So, uh, yeah, man, I was like the way this look could remind me of the Walton, Walton PPK. It's called a G3 380 pistol, aerosol. Um, cool little gun, running about 20 bucks. I think I ordered this thing on eBay a while back. Um, I want a lot of guns, man. I get them in my arsenal, you know, and just have a little fun with them. Even stuff like this, I mean, you know. Yeah. Gotta have me in your arsenal. Got a ham, man, but it's a nice one. It's a nice one, man. You gotta have them in your arsenal. Gotta have them. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, man. It's the G3 380 Airsoft Pistol Review. Um, Y'all can see more of these reviews. Cause like I said, I just wanted to share some of them. Uh, some of the guns that I buy. Even some of the, the real firearms. And all my pistols, you know, I have permit. I got permits on all my pistols. You know, you can't have no legal stuff laying around. You got to have permits for them so you can be legal, man. You don't want to get no guns that's hot. I don't believe in getting hot guns. <laughs>
go to jail for that hot stuff, man. Don't buy no hot guns. Make sure you got the permits on them. Make sure everything legit. That's how I do it, man. All right. So, hope you guys enjoy, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And, uh, yeah, guys, get them guns illegal, man. Don't, don't, don't buy no files that's hot. They'll wind you up in jail. You guys take care. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.